Al Gecko, and we're here with uh, FCAT Sports for the Frontier Wrestling Team. This will be a good one today. This is almost the full lineup on both teams. The, there should be only one or two uncontested ma uh, matches tonight. Financial support for FCAT's coverage of local high school sports provided by Leader Home Centers, your hometown home center with five locations to serve you in Amherst, South Deerfield, Barrie, Greenfield, and Brattleboro, Vermont, or online at leaderhome.com. Visit them for all your building material needs. Raymond Financial Services, LLC. Take charge of your financial future. Insurance, investments, and benefits for individuals and employers. Attorney Daniel Graves, Esquire. In addition to being Deerfield's town moderator, Dan's a practicing attorney. Call his Greenfield office at 773-8706 for all your legal needs. That was really awkward. Can you edit that part out? That was really awkward. On Saturday, Coach Bags got his 100th team win. And we just got him a gift card and a picture frame. Coach Bagna has taken me from halfway decent wrestler to a decent wrestler, so <laughs> I'd like to thank him a lot for that. Thank you, Coach. Can I do the rest of it after? Because we're like starting. Or actually. So for the lineup today for Frontier, we have Jake Madsen at 106, Tanner Finch at 113, Bailey Murray at 120, Avery Tuttle at 126, Victor McNutt at 132, Senior Captain Connor Pettis at 138, Ido McMillan at 145, Casey Madsen at 152, Eric Truslow at 160, Miguel Overt Aguilera at 170, Senior Captain Joe Hildreth at 182, Nate Austin at 195, Omar, nobody at 220, and Jackie Jeff Fong at Kidwell. 285. <laughs> For Maha, we have our seventh grader, Sam ten and eight this year, Jake Madsen. Jeff Kidwell at 106. We have Dominic Takoliefi at 113. At 113, we have Dominia Kachalfi from Marhar. <laughs> what is he says? What is he with this, right? Founder, who's 13 and 6, Tanner Finch. <laughs> At 120, we have Eric Aldrich. <laughs> Versus our 15 and 6, 8th grade, Bailey Murray. At 126, we have Jeremy Vizzino. Avery Tuttle. At 138, at 132, we have Justin DiDiego. <laughs> Verse five wins, four pins, Victor McNutt. At 138 from Marhar, we have Henry Nudei Saba. For a senior captain, 17 and 4, he was fifth in Western Mass and a hunter winner, uh, Connor Pettis. <laughs> At 145, we have Adam Clement. At 145, 
25, Frontier has 12 and 6, sophomore, Reactus Edo McMullen. And 152, we have Todd Chasen. For Frontier, we got 7 wins, KC Matson. And 160, we have Ed Bennington. Frontier, we have either junior Eric Truswell, 8th grader Julian Kinsman, or 7th grader Connor Hoffman. You guys can go out shake a hand. You ruined my surprise. At 170, we have Anrick Gutang versus senior Miguel Olvera Aguilera. At 182, we have Peter Tatan. For our senior captain, Kendall and Joey Hilcher. At 195, we have Cole Emery. At 195, we have 10 and 5, Nate Chokes Austin. No match at 220, and at 285, we have 12 and 4, freshman Jackie Fong. Thank you, Ronnie and Thomas, for coming down. Enjoy your first wrestling match, Bagdens. Let's go, guys. Let's wrestle. Okay, so the captains are meeting at the center to shake hands, and they're starting to get ready for the coin toss. The coin toss is important because it decides which coach gets to put their wrestler out first. And whichever coach gets to put the wrestler out first, then the other coach has to respond with his wrestler, so he will get to decide if he wants to bump a kid up a weight class. And uh, it's all about creating those matchups that would be most advantageous to your team. So Frontiers won the cars. Frontier will be red tonight, Maha will be green. So coming out to the match, we have Jake Madsen and Sam DeJackon to wrestle the 106 match. Control for on. Massive gets the reversal. 2 2. Get over. We have match. Massive cranks him over. Tries to run the half. He's going for the pin. Thirty-seven seconds left. Yeah, thirty-five seconds. That's a long time to be on bottom. 
Both wrestlers are fighting as hard as they can right now. There's 10 seconds remaining in the period. And there it is, the end of the period. And it's tied 2 2. Frontier's going to defer. And the Jack on going to choose the neutral position. Both wrestlers starting standing up oh, just to get to the match. Flip sides. That's in fakes a shot. Both wrestlers fighting first control. Jacqueline takes a shot. Matson blocks it. Good first draw. Still no points. Jacqueline takes a shot. Madsen sprawls. He goes from path. He goes to half. He's cranking him over. He's fighting for the pin. Yeah, he's got a squeeze. Got to get that last shoulder down. He's getting there. He's sinking the half in right now. Looks like he almost has it. The Jacqueline's not giving up though. He's fighting. And a beautiful pin. There it is. That's the match. A period and a half in the books, and Frontier comes out on top. All right, now for the second match at the 113 weight class, we'll have Tanner Finch going against Dominic Kakiokov. Kakio Kofi. Should be a good match too. He did Tanner Finch is 13 and 6. Record. So Tanner's a second year wrestler here. He had a really, really great first season last year. He went far in the Western Mass Tournament. We'll see how he does tonight. Inside. Wasting no time. Takes a shot. Oh. Tanner's on top, going for the pin. Gotta get the shoulder down. Finch has the leg hook, he lets go. Should I sink it in? That was a quick match, 29 seconds. And Frontier's up two pins. Coming up next, we have the 120 weight class. We have Bailey Murray going up against Eric Aldrich. This is Murray's second season last year. He was a first year, and he was, he's a strong kid. Never wrestled before, and he went in, and he did really well in the first tournament of the year. He looks like he's doing good well this year, too. 15-6 and six record. Yeah, that's a great record. And he takes a shot. He has a two points, gets up early. Murray goes to the wrist control. He has to fight to get back on his feet. Stand up with your left foot first. Don't worry about your back. Okay, belly flat out. Belly, belly, belly flat out. Straight the legs, straight the legs, straight the legs, straight the legs. Fight his hands. You're going to fight his hands. Oh, Murray gets him in the cradle. He flips him over. Nice. Has to get the so this, is, this is a good one for back points, but I don't think that both of their shoulders are down. I think that Aldrich got lucky in his. It's a bit, oh, oh, he there he is. He got the pin. 45 seconds. Right, Frontier's up, three pins to nothing. So it's Frontier 12 points, 
beat them. Mar 18 points and Mahar zero. Yes, this is good. This is a good match. Very good match. So we have a Avery Tuttle for Frontier coming out in the 126 weight class, and he'll be going up against Jeremy Vizino. So Tuttle is three and nine this year, but he has two pins. Two of those three wins are pins. So we'll see how he does tonight. Let's we'll see if he can get another pin. Wrestlers are fighting for control, tying up in the center of the mat. Tuttle fakes a shot. Beautiful takedown. He takes down two points, two nothing. He's riding his legs back to the center of the mat. Tuttle's fighting to tie him up. He breaks him down. Tuttle gets the wrist, he loses it, he maintains on top. Vizino is fighting to get out, but Tuttle has him on his back. He's hard. Vizino rolls back onto his stomach and he builds a base. I got blood somewhere. And it's the for blood. The ref is calling a blood time. So there's. It looks like Vizino from Ahar is bleeding and they're just going to go clean him up real quick. Blood time can be really advantageous in the match. I mean, if you're on the bottom and you're fighting, you're fighting and you start bleeding. You get, you get the, the break in between and yeah, get your the, energy back. But right then in the middle of a, but, then the, the, two. but then it's also harder for the, the person who... You lose that mobility too. Like you're doing good and you're all of a sudden you get stop. It just starts all over again. Yeah. But it's also for the person that's bleeding. Like oftentimes they'll stuff some cotton up your nose and that's really hard to breathe. And you're in there, your noses are all plugged up and you're wrestling again. Someone's got some. So this is a huge moment for Coach Bagden. This weekend he got his 100th win. And that, that's a really serious landmark in any wrestler or coach's career. We have um, a banner for 100 win wrestlers, but we don't think really we have a banner for 100 win coaches here at Frontier. All right, so the wrestlers are coming back to the middle. Vizino is set and Tuttle takes his position on top. And Tuttle retains control, breaking him down quickly. It's 2 0 Frontier. Tuttle seems to have control, but Zeno seems, seems to be fighting furiously, and he's doing pretty well for himself. He's Thirty-two seconds left in the first period. Keep fighting, keep fighting. Keep going, Jerry. Let go. It's Frontier two and Mahar zero points. Both wrestlers fighting for control. Zeno has not given up for one second. He's still fighting to get up off the bottom. Oh, Toto looks like he's about to sink a half. And he, then he gets it. He's on his back. There's only get two seconds back. left. He's not, nah, he's not gonna get it. Close. Saved by the bell. If he had a couple more seconds, could he have his another pin? Third pin of the season. But so Mahar is going to win the coin toss, and he's gonna defer. And he picks the downward to start on top. From tip, he yeah. Picks to start on top. Toto chooses to start on top. And this would be a dangerous uh, choosing to start on top though because if the bottom wrestler gets out, that's two points of um, escape points. Or excuse me, one point of escape point. And that'll bring it down to that would be good two to one. But he had the two point cushion, so he wasn't as worried about it. So yeah, the Tuttle doesn't have to worry about that. He retains um, uh, 
control on top. Maintains wrist control. He has the half, and, and, and he has. It looks like he can get this pin if he squeezes. Zeno still fighting. He might get out he of it. He has to roll away from him. So he fights. They might actually go out of bounds. That's the strategy there. That's out. Yep. Both wrestlers are out there. After go back to the middle. Beautiful effort by both wrestlers. Zeno played that perfectly. He knew he, he knew he was. That's great mat awareness. And he worked his way out. Now both wrestlers get a breather. Start back in the beginning. Tuttle wastes no time to break him down. Dangerous. So the, the referee is calling it potentially dangerous. And he's going to reset the wrestlers to the middle. He didn't like the way his shoulder was bent in that, in that move, I don't think. And when, it, when they start up again, it will be one minute left in the second period, with Frontier 8 points and Maho 0 points in this match. And Frontier does lead the total match overall, 18 in Maha 0. Looks like Tuttle's about to get this half. He has this he has it position. And oh, he, he has it. He's on top. He has it. For 40 seconds, yet Vizino's going to try to fight out for 40 seconds. And he gets and his third it. pin of the year. There you go. That's his third pin. That's Frontier's fourth pin of the night. A very, very well job by Frontier right now. Getting pins after pins. Yeah, because it's important to make sure that you get that pin win because then you get 16 points as opposed to a points win. Financial support for FCAT's coverage of local high school sports provided by Leader Home Centers, your hometown home center with five locations to serve you in Amherst, South Deerfield, Barrie, Greenfield, and Brattleboro, Vermont or online at leaderhome.com. Visit them for all your building material needs. Raymond Financial Services, LLC. Take charge of your financial future. Insurance, investments, and benefits for individuals and employers. Attorney Daniel Graves, Esquire. In addition to being Deerfield's town moderator, Dan's a practicing attorney. Call his Greenfield office at 773-8706 for all your legal needs. All right, so the next matchup is going to be Victor McNutt. He's 5-7 and seven this year with four pins. And against Henry. Victor McNutt versus Justin Dedego. Victor goes in for that blast double, but Dedego stops him in his tracks. Both wrestlers reset. They're fighting for wrist control. They're circling. Victor shoots. He gets a leg, but Dedego sprawls. Victor could be in trouble here. Victor sits out. It looks like the Jago has the legs. Victor's out. Oh, Victor's on his back. The Jago ended up getting him down. Victor sits out again. But he's broken down promptly. One minute and 12 seconds left in the first period. Jago has that cross wrist drive right now and Victor's not able to do much with it. Victor has to get that momentum to get back, back to his feet and get a reversal. Victor rolls him. Now he's on top. He's got a headlock. 
Reversal points. Nice, nice, nice move. The Jago reverses it again. Two reversals in a row. 31, 30, 29 seconds left in the first period. Uh, two points for Frontier and four points for Mahar in this match. It's like the Jago's lost his headgear. He's keeping on, he's on, keep on wrestling. He's going to maintain his top position and Victor's going to fight out, but 10 seconds left in the period. It looks like it's going to end. Yeah, that's, that's yeah. the first period. Though. That's hard fought. Both wrestlers had great moves, great, great reversals. Reversals, you don't really see those very, very often in high school wrestling, but when you get two experienced wrestlers like this, it tends to happen. McNutt is going to win the toss, and he's going to defer. Mahart takes bottom. Yeah, taking bottom like this is, is so you can get that one point escape point. You but Victor has to take advantage of this too. Victor, yeah, Victor take has the momentum it. from it. The referee's gonna call walked hands against Green, so that will be against Frontier. And Maha will get one point for that. So it's going to be Frontier 5, er, Frontier 2, and Maha 5 points for this match. But Victor's going to stay on top. He's going to try to take, a, take advantage of him and roll him over. Maha gets to reverse, so making it 7 to 2. With a minute and 35 seconds left in this period. Dago's fighting to roll his wrists underneath him and run a half, but Victor's doing a good job defending that. Oh, but he might have been caught up in a cradle. That's not good. Cradles are dangerous. But Victor does a good job to roll out of it. Fighting himself out. Victor has to fight those two. It looks like the Jago's going for the half, but Victor is not. He's fighting against it well. One minute left. That's a long time to be on the bottom. And the wrestlers are out of bounds. The referee's going to set him back to the middle. Both benches are very animated during this one. <laughs> there will be 51 seconds to start with. 51 seconds. Victor's going to go for the escape, but the day is going to bring him back down to the mat. He's not going to let him go. That easily. Oh, Victor fights up. He's on his feet. But the Dago brings back. him back down. Put that bar on top. Looks like a cradle. Yeah, the Dago's going for a cradle right here. He has a cross wrist ride, it looks like, underneath. But Victor has a good base here. He's got 18 more seconds. It looks like he's just trying not to get pinned so he can have another period to get a crack at him. Oh, what? 10 seconds. Looks like he'll be able to get one more match. It looks like, yeah, it looks like this, this period's going to run out. Yeah, there's three. One more period. And it's going to be Victor's decision since he deferred before. And once you get into this third period, too, they're both tired. Anything can happen. They're both gassed, both wrestlers. This is just going to be who trains harder at this point. Six minutes of wrestling, that's, that is really taxing. So Victor chooses neutral, so both wrestlers are up. And they're fighting for control right now. The Dago brings him down. down. That's two. Oh, oh, and it looks like it looks like if he squeezes, he can get the pin. Oh, he hasn't wrapped up now. He's fighting to get that shoulder. It looked, like, looked like Victor is trying to move his shoulder so it's harder to get the pin. He just got to keep rolling away from the pin. But now he has it. Maha has it. The first points of the night. So it's going to be Frontier 24 and Maha 6 at the end of this match. Frontier still leads the total match overall.
I now is the 138 weight class. Senior captain for Frontier, Connor Pettis, is coming out. He's 17 and 4, and he will be wrestling Henry from Mahar. So it looks like Henry was wrestling at 126 last year, so he's he's bulked up for his wrestling season. Wanted to give himself a challenge going up a weight class. And so did Connor. Connor actually wrestled at 126 last year, so both wrestlers are bulking up, putting on some muscle, coming in this season stronger. So the wrestlers are fighting for control. Just let some go to the game. Henry's gonna take a shot. Connor's on the left. Connor takes a shot, Henry sprawls. This is a tied up in the middle of the middle of the match. Mahar goes to a sprawl. No points yet. And both wrestlers are going to reset in a neutral position. Connor goes for the other shot. He sprawled on, but it gets out. Both wrestlers back to neutral position. No points. Connor's going to take a shot. Get behind him. Two points. Very close to the out of bound lines, too. So you gotta, you gotta be yeah, careful with him. You have that mat awareness, which I'm sure these two experienced wrestlers have. And the referee's gonna reset them to the middle. It's 2 0 Frontier. With 45 seconds, Frontier leads this match 2 to 0. Pettis breaks him down, and he, he also has an arm hooked. Trying to go for him, he tries to get the escape, but Pettis knocks him back to the ground hard. Pettis hasn't wrapped up, but his back's exposed. This could be dangerous. One second is not careful. And that's going to end this period. And that's it for the first period. A lot of action. A lot, of, a lot of shots. Very technical wrestling. Getting more and more intense as we go on through these matches. Still anybody's match. So Connor's going to win. He's going to choose the bottom position to get the escape. Or the reversal. But it looks like Henry's going to pick that ankle. He's going to make this... Make things a little bit difficult for Pettis. Can't be easy to get up when they're holding your hand. Connor's going to try to flip him out over, but it looks like he, has, uh, he stays on top, maintains possession. Still 2 nothing Frontier. Henry's going to try to grab a wrist and break him down even further, but he's going to try to roll him. Connor sets through. And he gets the reversal. Beautiful reversal. There's going to be a minute left in the second period. Now Connor with the cross wrist grab, trying to break him down. Looks like the referee is going to reset the wrestlers to the middle. Tomorrow will be on bottom, Frontier will be on top. With 49 seconds left. Alright, so Pettis is taking his position. They gotta keep moving, they gotta watch out for the stall too. They don't want to stall. 
Yeah, the stalling call. That's an interesting penalty in wrestling. Both wrestlers have to be fighting. The top wrestler has to be fighting for a pin, and the bottom wrestler has to be fighting for an escape at all times. So that's the referee can call stalling and penalize each wrestler. And that's not what you want to happen. That is not what you want to happen. 14 seconds left. Connor is maintaining control, but his back is a few inches off the mat. This could be dangerous for him. Dangerous for both of them. Connor rolls back on top. And that's going to end it. And that's the second period. So this will be Maher's decision. Look, he's going to choose neutral. All right. Third period. Both wrestlers are digging deep now. Frontier with a semi-comfortable lead of, of four points, but still you know, that could be gone in a second. Still anybody's match. With wrestling, it doesn't matter what the points are. You can always get a pin in the match. So it's anybody's match. The whole match. Both wrestlers are tied up in the center. Pinnacle's in for the shot and Henry Sprouse. Fights back up. Goes in for another shot. Another, another, another sprawl. Ball, though. And they're going to be out. And the referee's going to return them to the center. Shoots, Connor Sprouls. And there's a minute it left in its final third period of this match. We've, we've entered the final minute of the match. Another aggressive match from both teams. Connor Pettis is on his back. If Mahar gets a two, and he's very close to getting that pin. If he Pettis squeezes, he dies. Inches away in 41 seconds. 39 seconds. He just needs to hold out a couple more seconds if he can do it. He tries to bridge out of it. <laughs> 23 <laughs> seconds left. He's got one shoulder up. So close. So close to ending this match. This is determination right here. And this, this, this is hard too. Because every second it's get harder and harder and harder not to be pinned. Seven seconds after the match, he has the win. Oh, and he gets the pin with four seconds and four seconds left. That's heartbreaking. That's got to be heartbreaking. And he was he was leading this match too before for, before that pin. So B. Twenty-four to twelve. Only pin so far tonight. That was that was that, that quite was, the match. That, that, that's gonna be a hard match to beat throughout this. And as far as excitement, yeah. yeah. For sure. This gym is electric during that pen. Okay, so next up we have we have Ido McMillan wrestling against Adam Clement. Twelve and six this this season. So it looks like it could be another interesting match. Yeah, absolutely. Problem with the cloud. So the referee called something right now. We'll have to wait and see what he is. Clement's gonna take his position. Try to get that escape, and Vierkis is gonna hold on to him, try to break him back down. But he gets the escape, escape, so it's, it's two to one now. Vierkis is fighting for that second takedown. Both wrestlers seem to have a leg. He's close, he's close to the leg. takedown. He's gonna get that double leg takedown. He's gotta lift up with his body and make it so. 
And it's going to be a stalemate. They're back to tie it up. Both wrestlers are going to be set. We have a minute left in this first period. It's two to one from two. Shoot, we have the spells. That's two points from And they're out. And they're out of bounds. With 42, 42 seconds. So the wrestlers are going to return to the center of the net. Two or three. Bahar. So it looks like Coach Bagman is inquiring with one of the referee's decisions. Didn't like what he saw or didn't like I don't think he liked that last take down I don't think that uh, he think the Maha also had full control, but no matter, we're back in Warwick gets, gets his it's, it looks like a reversal back on top. 4-3 to three from his game. 27 seconds left in the first period. And it looks like it's going to be, once again, another good match here. And there's another reversal. 4-5 to five Mahar. They're just going back and forth. 13 seconds. Oh, he was going to roll him. He's they're close to the out of too. they got to have awareness of the two. But it looks like this period's going to end in a second. That's the end of the first. But man, it looks like it's going to be a very, very good match again. This is going to be a close one. All night. I think we're going to have close matches. I think it's going to come down to which team wants it more. As always, in Boston. Come on, Let's get up. Set. Set. So Rick, this is gonna he gets back up to his feet. That's good. If they get that escape point, and both wrestlers are in the neutral position. So now it's six to four miles. This 
is the third period. This is where it counts. This is a real gut check for both wrestlers here. Tired. It's a one point game. One point game, tired. And you have just a couple minutes to uh, get a pin or have more points in the Those wrestlers would look tired. They're in the middle of the game trying to get control. Again, what you said, it's going to be whoever wants it more. Okay, so it's fighting for wrist control. And it looks like they have a wrist apiece. Like Ito's gonna. Maha gets the two. Nice, Ito gets the nice. Ito gets the reversal. And he's gonna be close to a pin here. He has, a minute, he has a minute left to get this pin. He has a minute to settle in. It's nine to ten. He's down by one. He needs this. He needs to put Maha flips him. Gets the reversal. And now it's 9 to 12 with 40 seconds left in this match. Ido has to get away from this. It looks like Clement's hands are locked underneath Ido's shoulder. He, he so has his forearm locked under the head. And that's another reversal. Oh, another reversal. It makes 19 seconds left. With it, 11 to 12 in anybody's match. He needs to get this point before this match ends to either tie it or get two points to win it. It's 11. Four second three. Oh! And Ido just falls over at a very, very close match again. It looks like... That was close all the way through. Breath, so we're still out of breath. We're gonna shake hands. Very, very close. That was another intense match. This ninth has been full of intense matches. That's an evenly matched team right here. The heavier of the weight classes we get to, the more and more intense it seems like it's getting. But it seems like something's going on. Yeah, the referee and the coaches are talking right now at the scoreboard. So uh, we don't. There know. might be a discrepancy somewhere. I think we're waiting to find out what the final score is going to be before the match to find out who wins. Yeah, that was that was weird at the end. There was a little bit of. It looks like Ito lost his balance and collapsed. Yeah, something happened. We're gonna have to. The referee's gonna have to decide. To get out of points there because this is important when it comes down to two points like this, every single decision it, 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 the it's going to determine the overall of the match. Two points ties it. And Mars going to win. And those, those, couple, those couple issues that Coach Baggett had with those calls. There's, He's not going to happen like that because of how close it was at the oh, end. Oh, definitely. But I mean, you can never, you can never blame the uh, ref for the decision of the match. That was uh, well fouled by both wrestlers. It really was. Came right down to the end. All right, next match. I mean, Casey Madsen versus Todd Kaisen in the 152-pound weight class. And it looks like uh, Maher's wrestler placed fifth at Western Mass in the 138, so he's also bumping up more quarter classes tonight. All right, both wrestlers are in the middle, neutral position, feeling each other out. He's in good position now, but he's going to try to fight for that leg. Nice, Todd. He's going to 
grab at the leg multiple times, but looks like there's nothing there that this wrestler is going to be set to neutral position. A beautiful takedown. And that was a takedown. It looked like Casey was going to get that reversal right at the end, but looks like Todd has a Mahar is going to come out on top of the yeah, with two yes, points. And they go out of bounds. Okay. Referee's going to so reset. So when it starts again, it's going to be a minute and three seconds left with Mahar leading this match to the zone. Sit in. Casey's gonna flip. It. Casey's gonna try to flip him. She looks for a reversal. He almost had it there. Doesn't yes. look. Doesn't look good. He was almost pinned. He has to get that last shoulder blade touching the man. It looks like he almost has it, but it looks like his arm is stuck underneath the head of. of him. 16 seconds. And there's the pin. This is a close match. 21-24 from two. As we enter into the 160-pound weight class. And this one's by Ed Bennington from Mahar against Eric Trujillo from Frontier. Eric's a second-year wrestler, and he is a junior. So we'll see if this should be a good match. Best position. Circling quickly. Eric tries to snap it down. Bennington keeps his base. Both wrestlers are Risk control. Change it and go. You've got it down. Ben sprawls. And both wrestlers reset once again. About to be 40 seconds left in this first period of this match. Bang his head. Go, Eric! Just pull back, pull back, just lean forward. Banton goes in, grabs a leg. The Truzo fights it off. Banton tries to run him down, but Truzo maintains his balance. Truzo sprawls and. Still 0-0 zero, zero in this match. Still anybody's match. Oh yes, absolutely. This looks like an evenly matched. Another evenly matched match. match. <laughs> Both wrestlers fighting for control. So Truzo is going to take the top position. He's, it looks like he's not going to get the skip immediately. Eric's going for the half. Doesn't quite get it. He's going for the wrist control. Bennington sits through. Truzo maintains possession. And Bennington's going to get the escape. That's one point, one nothing. Maha. Circle, circle, circle. Circle, circle. Use the head. 
Get around the corner and you can't go straight on. Yes, that's it. Bennington goes in for the, the shot. Looks like Truzo is going to get the front headlock. He goes for the cement job. Halfway there. Oh, he, no points. We need a little bit more support on that. Still one nothing on And they're going to be out the bounds. 48 seconds left. Maher leads this match one for Maher so far. Both wrestlers are in the neutral position. Choose where it's going to be heavy on the head. Trying to break him down. Let him tire him out. Bankies shoots. Choose where it wins it off. Trudeau tries to snap him down, but Bankies too strong. Trudeau tries to hook the foes. He gets his two points. Trudeau going to get the back points. He has 15 seconds left in the second period. That's not. And Mahler's going to get the escape. So right now it's 4 to 2 from two. He gave the point away by letting him go. It's, it's, it's tough to know how long he's left in the period because when you're on the mat, you're not thinking about that. You're thinking about, you're thinking about wrestling over the other person. No, you're not you even paying attention to it at all. Right. You shouldn't pay attention to it at all. Oh, it's, it's important to know where you are in the period because if you, if you have three seconds left and you're on the bottom, it could be motivating to really stay out of the period so you can just stand much longer. Right, so both wrestlers fighting for control. Cruzos, again, heavy on the head, trying to wear him down. Cruzo tries to snap him down. There's a front headlock. There's a front headlock. He's going to... And he just lets him go. And you can hear other frontier wrestlers telling him that he has to stay aggressive. And, uh, Co Coach, Coach Gordon's been pretty, pretty lively this match. So it's, uh, yes, Truzo sprawls. Yes. He has a knee. The head, in the head to knee, that's for me. That's what Coach always says. There's 57 seconds left in this final third period, and they run out of bounds. So when we start again, it's going to be 54 seconds. With Frontier 4, Mahar 2 in this match. It's still anybody's match. Oh, absolutely. And it's an, once again another good match here. And Truzo tries to snap him down. Doesn't quite get it. And it's 40 seconds left in the match, so every point counts right now. Both of us are still fighting for control. Benny goes to shoot, Truzo sprawls again, front headlock, tries to snap him down, and Bennington stays up. Truzo tries to snap him down again, still has that front headlock. No points for the wrestler yet, another good job also getting him back into the middle, uh, the middle of the mat, away from that arena. Good is going to disengage, Bennington's going to go into the shot, Truzo's going to sprawl, front headlock, that's a front shoulder by points. It was a hard fight match. match. It was A1's match right to the end. Yeah. All right, coming up next we have senior Miguel Over Aguilera against Anorak Dukan. This will be... This will be one of Miguel's first 
matches after being back. So he's hungry for the win. He's hungry. He's an aggressive wrestler. As you can see, already he has that front headlock. He breaks him down. And he's going in for the pin. Yep. And now he has it. He's, he's fighting. Both wrestlers are fighting. Nice job also getting him back away from that line. And so, yeah, Hunter has done a back really back. good job of keeping uh, that awareness. away from that line. Having that mat awareness, knowing where you're on the mat. Coach Baldwin will emphasize that in practice, I'm sure. Because that can be the difference between winning and losing the match. Because you don't get very many opportunities to pin your opponent. And if you're right there at the end, you can lose that opportunity. That is not what you want to happen. And he gets the pin. He sinks it in. And that's 41 seconds. And it looks like Miguel's come back stronger than ever. And 170. That was a, that was a big cut last year. Last year, Miguel was wrestling at 195, so we actually cut down 20 pounds. That's a lot to cut down. It is, it really is. Um, but, you know, all last year, he was he was working on that. So next up, we have the 182 pound weight class. Senior captain, Joe Hildreth. He's 10-7 this year. And he'll be going up against Peter Tatani. This should be another good one. Both wrestlers playing mind games, rocking back and forth, tapping each other on the head, feeling each other out. Shoots, Joe sprawls. The tongue has a leg. Joey, he's going to let him do much with it. The tongue is going to try to run that leg. Cut the corner. Hold going to get back to his feet. But the tongue out muscles him and gets the two. Joe back on his feet once again. Both wrestlers are out of bounds. So when they start again, it will be one minute, seven seconds. Two points for Mahar for this match. But Frontier leads to the total overall match, 33 to 21. This is still anyone's match because if Mahar can pull out two more wins, then they'll be actually tied with Frontier. So this match will support all the matches. Joe rolls him over. He doesn't quite have the possession, but this is, this is dangerous position for both wrestlers. Both wrestlers' backs are facing the mat. That's never a good, that's never a good place to be. You're coming up top. Your hips are coming up top. Turn it to him, Jack. Tom has the legs wrapped. Joe's trying to work him. And that's a pin. There's only 30 seconds left. If you had a couple more seconds to fight, could have been in that was a pin for Naha. I've never seen that so one So this before. match gets even closer for the overall. Looks like Coach Gordon's coming up there. Talk to the referee about that one. Financial support for FCAT's coverage of local high school sports provided by Leader Home Centers, your hometown home center with five locations to serve you in Amherst, South Deerfield, Barrie, Greenfield, and Brattleboro, Vermont or online at leaderhome.com. Visit them for all your building material needs. Raymond Financial Services, LLC. Take charge of your financial future. Insurance, investments, and benefits for individuals and employers. Attorney Daniel Graves, Esquire. In addition to being Deerfield's town moderator, Dan's a practicing attorney. Call his Greenfield office at 773-8706 for all your legal needs. So now it's 33 Frontier, 27 Mahar overall. So this is this will be the last match of the night. It'll be uh, Nate Austin versus Cole Emery. And this should be a good one. This is uh, Nate Austin. He was a uh, 152 last year. He went to Western Mass. He's an experienced wrestler. Wrestling for a number of years. Yeah, it's a great record. No points yet, both wrestlers fighting. Here for control. 
Edmund tried to snap down, but Austin did able to fight it off. Snaps down, grabs the leg. Austin stays on top. Emery has that leg. Austin flips him over. It's an opportunity to pin. He gets the two. Goes behind, he grabs the ankle. Austin can go into that bone in cradle, try to flip him. Doesn't get it. Goes in there again. Now doesn't get it. Left in his first period. Remember this the last match of the night. Going for the with the front headlock position, and going for the smoke job, but Emerson gonna get back to his feet, get that escape point. They went out of bounds, and it's gonna start down with 39 seconds left in this first period, and they're gonna start neutral. So Emery gets the escape point, so it's gonna be two to one. 30 seconds left, both wrestlers and fighting in the middle. Emery goes in for the takedown. And uh, Austin ends up on top. And he's very close to that pin too. 22 seconds left. He could have a pin here. He has that headlock. Gotta get that shoulder blade down a little bit more. Emery tries to roll out, but Austin quickly returns into his back. Six seconds. Emery gets back onto his stomach. And that's gonna end this period. Another, another good match. And yeah, Austin's gonna get three back points on that exchange. Emery's gonna win the toss. He's gonna choose top. So when it starts, Frontier will start on bottom. With two minutes, Frontier leads this match seven to one. Still in the end game though, with the amount of pins that we've seen. It, it, it could go anywhere. Him over, get that reversal. He's in a, he's in a great position now. Nate's going to get the reversal. So now Austin's going to end up on top. It's 9 to 1. With about a minute almost. And 14. 13 seconds, so it will be a minute left in the second period. Frente leads this match 9 to 1, but it's still anybody's match. Definitely anybody's match. The way that we've seen these matches go. Oh, absolutely. Austin rolls him. Not good. He's going to try to and try to Ooh. stack him up here. But again, this, this is dangerous for both goal. wrestlers. Both are going to win high. Austin's going to get to his stomach. Both wrestlers are going to get to his stomach. That's going to be a reversal from Bahar. Austin's going to end up back on his, on his back. Shoulder goes close, and that's a pin. Wow. Wow. Went from 12 to 1 to Bahar's game. Russell's gonna shake hands. And that's what tied 33 to 33. And now Jackie Fong at 285 is gonna come out, take a forfeit, and break the tie. What a night! What a night! All good matches. No one's at 220. And then we're gonna send out Jackie to take the forfeit. Front there will come away and take the win. Match. That was that was a great match. Both this, teams. This also must be somewhat of a heartbreak to my heart, knowing that you are going to lose by a forfeit. Yeah, that's always. Especially when you come away to tie it before the forfeit. Okay, they came back. Frontier came out strong. They had the 24 point advantage, but then Mahar came back. Came back swinging at the end there. Oh, cool. It was a beautiful match. All right. Thank you for joining us for FCAT Sports.
We're here in Good Now Gymnasium, and that was the Frontier Wrestling Team to take their Coach Baggins' 103rd win over Mahar.